Go to tapdrives.com to learn dreams, engage my services, and support the channel. Yeah, I thought I'd show the old school platformer Edge Collision demo, because I didn't know what I'd call it. So, um, in kind of older games, um, the kind of hitbox, the collision for the player, would be square. So, like, it would appear like, uh, like the the character was on here, but really the character was like this square that was moving around. Um, so if they'd walk to the edge of a platform, they'd still be standing on it, even though it wouldn't look like that. So that can kind of give like a strange um, old school kind of feel to the way the platforming works, if you can do that. If you're completely off of it, then you'll fall, otherwise you'll just fall onto the platform. And it's actually quite easy to do once you kind of think about it the right way. So we'll start with a puppet and we'll have a platform. Cool. So let's make this puppet look like a square. Um, this isn't necessary for the actual thing, but it makes it easier to understand what's going on if you have like a visual thing. So I'll make it red, I'll put it inside the puppet, and we don't need any of the actual puppet, we just need this block just hanging out. So normally like it'll just move around in 3D, that's not what we want. We want it to kind of be in a 2D mode, so it just goes left and right, um, and I'll adjust the camera settings in the controller sensor, uh, so it doesn't have a tilt, so we're just perfectly side on. And it looks like we're a bit high. If we go test mode and then adjust it, then we can kind of see it live. So yeah, that should be yeah, that'll do. But if you do use this as an actual puppet, you'll probably want to adjust the this stuff so this the collision is more in line with where the box is or use your own collision and stuff uh cool so now i oh, will um we'll also make it force possession so it auto automatically possesses when you go in here and now like left and right but it kind of turns around and stuff and that's not what we want we want it to not turn around uh we'll need to turn off collision for this so we just want it to be visual and now we can move like left and right and it doesn't turn or anything and we can jump and everything as normal but uh, we'll kind of fall off the edge like that um, and sometimes it starts spinning I think probably the safest way is to teleport it so um, if we have a tag as reference and I'll just give it a, a letter name then we can teleport to that tag. I'll use up and down to get to the tag name. Um, but only teleport, so normally that teleports the position. We just want to teleport the orientation. So we'll use the orientation of this for this uh, puppet object. Cool, so that seems to kind of work. The thing we really want to do is this uh, these edges to get them to not um, let the thing fall. So uh, instead of some logic to say if we should apply gravity and things like that, we'll actually do it a simpler way, which is we have a block and we'll need this to be on the grid as well. So we'll make that a different color. So this will have a tag on it that's in the top right corner where it meets the actual platform. And I'll move it back a bit as well, just to, just to be safe. Yeah, so this is an edge. And we want this to activate when this is over it. So, so we'll get a trigger zone with the square shape, and then we'll have that match the puppet object. Uh, 
and have it kind of reach down a bit like that. Um, it doesn't actually need to, it could just be right on the bottom if you want to do, as long as it gets that, um, gets that tag. So if we let it fall there, it ends up over that tag. And if we have this detect that tag, then that will um, start sending a signal. So if we try that again, then as soon as we're over it, it will send that signal. It, as soon as it's just past it, then it won't be sending a signal. So we can use that signal to just make this collidable or not. Cool. So it's still collidable, still collidable. And as soon as we're off of it, uh, then we'll fall for it. And it will only be collidable if we're on top of it again. And then we can do the same thing over here the other side and just flip it and now it's on the inside there and we'll fall through that one as well so we've got this kind of it's as if the collision instead of um, affecting the actual box shape of the puppet we are affecting the collision shape of the platform if you think about it that way um, and you can fall through it uh, in this kind of old school manner and of course you'd have these be invisible so that it just looks like you're hovering in midair uh, cool so this would work perfectly fine if this was a moving platform as well so that works just as fine and it can fall over just as fine uh, all dandy thanks for watching I hope you learned something interesting. Go to patreon.com slash tapgiles to learn something new every day.